Hi, I'm Stu Libby, CEO and co-founder of ZipDrug, the first and leading on-demand prescription drug delivery business. We hand deliver patients their medications from their preferred pharmacy within minutes of the time it's ready for pickup, oftentimes for less cost than when the patient goes to the pharmacy on their own. We started this business because medication non-adherence is a huge problem in the United States. 125,000 people die prematurely every year for not taking their medications as prescribed properly by their doctor. Cost and convenience are two major drivers of non-adherence, and we can solve that with ZipDrug. It's very easy for a patient to use ZipDrug. All they have to do is download the app or visit one of the kiosks that sit at the doctor's office or in the hospital or at the urgent care setting. Three simple steps later, a zip drug messenger who's employed by the company is dispatched to the patient's pharmacy and brings them their medication. In November 2015, we closed a seed round backed by some of the best early stage healthcare and technology investors. And since we closed that round, we've been effectively doubling in size relates to revenue and order volume every single month. Welcome to today's Power Pitch. I'm Melissa Lee. You just saw Stu's pitch. Now let's meet the panel. Joining us on set is Alicia Soret. She's a board member of the New York Angels. Alicia advises and invests in over 40 startups. Also with us is venture capitalist and angel investor Kelly keenan Trumpor. She mentors over 30 startups and is a founding partner of Next Gen Venture Partners, which focuses on early stage startups. And from Seattle, angel investor Nat Burgess. Nat is personally invested in healthcare tech startups in the U.S. Now, Stu is in the hot seat, so let's get to the panel in their questions. Alicia, kick it off. So I thought the pitch overall was good. You certainly crammed a lot of information in there, but you didn't talk about team backgrounds or competitive advantage. I'll still give you, give you a B, though. So there are some other startups that are attacking this very same business. How are you standing out from what they're doing? Well, one, we're the only ones in New York right now that are addressing this problem, which is a huge market, the, hugest, the, the, the biggest in the country as we see it. We partnered with CityMD, New York's largest, most respected urgent care. So they just give the patient the ability with one of our kiosks to go up, put their phone number in, start the process of a zip drug order. So when you leave the clinic, you just go home, go back to work, you receive your medications. Kelly. I'm going to give you a B minus. I wanted to hear just a little bit more about your overhead costs. So how do you expand to a national company and keep those costs yep. from eating into your profits? Our costs in unit economics are actually much better than that of a typical brick and mortar retail pharmacy. If you look at CVS and Walgreens and Rite Aid collectively, you're talking about over 10,000 retail locations in this country. Each location on average is 10,000 to 20,000 square feet. You're talking about billions of dollars of real estate that's being spent. At Zip Drug, we don't need that kind of real estate. So our unit economics are actually much, much stronger in that regard. Nat. Well, Stu, you come across as very confident and really understanding your market, which is good. But I'm sitting here in Seattle, about four blocks from Amazon, and I'm wondering why you didn't try to convince me how you're going to beat them and the other guys who already have nationwide distribution. And for that omission, I'm going to give you a C on the pitch. People do die every day from misusing or not taking their prescriptions. How are you actually going to help solve that problem? As it relates to other companies getting involved in the pharmacy space, it's hard to back up and become HIPAA compliant and start from scratch. So we started from a position where we can do exactly what we need to do, which is just deliver, deliver consumable health care to patients. So the actual experience of going to the pharmacy is inconvenient, and the medications themselves um, you know, are growing in cost. So if we make it more convenient and equally priced or lesser priced than actually going to the pharmacy experience, I think we can help people take their medications. And how much does it cost? The first delivery is always free. We do charge a $10 convenience fee uh, as part of the delivery. However, the Zip Drug platform has the Zip Drug discount program, so we automatically enroll patients into it and we try to programmatically find discounts. How is the user going to know that yep. their specific medication is coming to yep. them and when? Our messengers are full-time employees of our company. The messengers are equipped with technology where when the medication gets picked up and dropped off, it's tracked. We track the latitude, the longitude, the altitude. We require a photograph of the package at pickup and at drop off, a name and a signature from the patient or else we don't release that medication. Okay, well we heard what Stu had to say. We want to know now if the panel is in or out. So Alicia, what do you say? There's a huge opportunity around medication non-adherence. But the idea that the huge root of that problem is just from people not wanting to stand in line or not able to stand in line is a little bit disingenuous. There's tons of other reasons around, you know, people not buying it because they don't have insurance, people not wanting to take it because of fear of side effects or understanding, you know, the injection regimes. So that's part of my issue. And I'm also not clear on really what their huge competitive advantage is when other startups come into their geography. So unfortunately, I'm out.
Kelly, what do you say? This is a great concept, but I got to look under the hood a little bit more. Know the numbers, know the margins. So I would say right now I have to be reserved, and I'd love to see more things from this company and follow it and see what happens. So maybe in the future I'd reconsider, but right now I've got to go without. All right, two outs. Nat, what do you say, in or out? Stu, I came in here uh, concerned that you were going to get crushed by Amazon and Walgreens. What I heard, though, is one of the winningest qualities that an entrepreneur can have, which is really listening to the customer, understanding the problems, and running around and patching those holes. And I think just doing that in dense metros like New York is enough to build a venture scale business. So I'm kind of surprising myself here, but I'm in. All right. So two outs and one surprised in. Stu, what's your reaction? We're going to keep going, and we're going to grow this business. And we're really excited for the opportunity. All right. Thank you very much, Stu Libby of Zip Drug and tour panelists Alicia Kelly and Nat. And that is today's Power Pitch.